Good morning everyone. Our project is Roads and Organization using BNN in Pink Z2 board. The objective of our project is to recognize the road sign using BNN that is binarized neural network in Pink Z2 board. Uh, this is the uh, horror diagram or board setup. Uh, next, in order to uh, use the board, we need to reboot the board first. So these are the procedures that we uh, must follow to reboot the boot. Uh, first step, insert SD card uh, in the given slot. Supply power to the board via power cable. And third step, connect Ethernet cable to the board and laptop. And then last, turn on the board. These are the procedures in order to reboot the board. And now, uh, we have to set up the network connections. So, set up the IP address and subnet box as given in the slide. It is, the IP address is 192.168.2.1 and the subnet box is 255.255.23.0. So, uh, now we have to connect the board to the Jupyter network. So, uh, simple step is open your new browser and navigate to the uh, site that is 192.168.2.99 to connect the Jupyter network to the board. And this will connect the uh, ping zone to board to the board. Now, uh, in our in my, in our project, we use the uh, uh, neural network is BNN that is binarized neural network. Why we are using BNN? Uh, in BNN, we use the it uses only binary weights and activations. So, uh, it makes the BNN is more compact and powerful. And here we use the bitwise operations. And this always makes, makes it reduce the execution time also. Uh, and uh, can be either mathematically uh, uh, we can use for uh, zeros or ones or minus one or plus one. But uh, minus one or plus one is more useful. Um, in this, uh, we use the XNOR gate because of the simpler op uh, multiplication operations. So it takes a lesser time execution time. Uh, here, a logical. 0 represents 1 and logical 1 represent plus 1. Here, here we compare the BNN with DNN that is deep neural network and the binarized neural network. Uh, for example, in, the, in deep neural network, it uses 32 bit floating point representation with a single bit. But in binarized neural network, it uses single bit representation. Uh, which uses 1 by 32 of the space that is occupied by the DNN. So, uh, the binaries uh, are cheaper to store. Uh, it, yeah, it takes, uh, absolutely, it takes uh, lesser space than DNN and it's cheaper to compute. Uh, we can uh, fastly read the data. That is it. Now we move to the architecture of BNN. Um, here, the architecture of DNN is similar to somewhat similar to the BNN, but the main difference is uh, we use either uh, plus one or minus one. This is the main uh, difference. Uh, here, a simple pseudo code for inference uh, forward operations. Now, this is the BNN algorithm uh, as a flow chart. Here, the input image is passed to the convolutional layer, which has kernel 3 cross 3 matrix. And it is XNOR with the weights of each images in fully connected layer. And all these are summed with each BIOS value. And at last, it is compared with a threshold value and an image can be recognized. These are the blocks that we have mentioned. Now, um, it is implemented in Jupyter network by connecting the ping Z2 board. Uh, as I said before, uh, first we have to navigate to the uh, uh, given IP address that is 192.168.2.99 um, and we can use. Here we import the BNN and it lists the classifiers available, the classifiers available that is a road sign street view and cipher term. Now in this step, it will list the classes that are available that is the bit images that are uploaded in the kit uh, that is a 20 km per hour, 30 km per hour, like this and so on. 
and and in this step we have to open the image to be identified and these images are already imported to the device and if you want if, if you want to identify some other sign rather than this one means download the image and that are going to be identified and save in a specified part location for example uh, in this slide uh, uh, we have imported a 100 km car and stop signal under the pedestrians crossed sign but if you want to include 20 km per hour or 30 km per hour means uh, we can download the image and um, import it to the specified locations so we can um, read from that location and this slide is launching BNN in hardware uh, and launching BNN in software. As we can see, the launching BNN in hardware, it uses uh, 3527.00 microseconds. And uh, in software, it takes 79,000 uh, lakh something, 7 lakh 95,938.75 uh, microseconds it takes. Uh, here, hardware always uh, is best. Uh, in order to reboot or reset the device means uh, we have to uh, type this command and now uh, uh, the first part, uh, part of our project is done in the Jupyter network and the second is we imported in the Vivado shed uh, this is a block diagram that is generated in the Vivado shoe uh, explain the block uh, in uh, in Zing 7 processing system, in this block we can select the processing system or the programmable logic PS or PL based on our applications. In the board, uh, they have two sections uh, PS or PL based on our applications. We can choose a PS or PL. And second block is uh, an AXI interconnect. In this block, we can connect the master devices to the multiple slave devices. And third is a uh, black jam box. Here, the generation of IP address can be done. And these are uh, other remaining two blocks are as I explained uh, before. And this is the final result we got and how it, much it utilizes and available memory is source. This is implemented design graph uh, for the uh, before the table. And this is a Vivado design summary from the base paper and our result. As we can see the uh, here are the two uh, uh, results. This is taken from the base paper results, and this is a modified Vivado shoe timing summary. Is uh, is uh, our taken. As we can see, that utilization is somewhat low when compared to the base paper results, and available memory also improved. This is. And this is a comparison sort uh, BNN using the uh, fully connected layer as well as the BNN using the conventional layer. And thank you.